this year, I mean, Vegas Golden Knights have taken the world by surprise. But I'm going to say in December, I said in the NHL Network, they're going to make the playoffs. But I got lucky on that one. Were they, they in first place? <laughs> that's like, what? Who let Thir this guy in there? 30 points ahead of everyone else? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I love it. That's why it's great being around the players. They'll keep you honest. Great stuff. So once Vegas was announced and they came into the league, you guys had to be looking at the calendar, right? Okay, Matt, boys, when are we, when are we going to Vegas? What, what was it actually like? Uh, it was different. Um, you know, you usually don't, <laughs> you don't go to Vegas to uh, go play sports. Usually you, you go to have some fun, but uh, uh, playing in that first game against them was pretty special because you didn't know what to expect, if the fans were going to be great or if there's going to be a lot of them, and it was just, like, crazy. We actually uh, flew in the day of the game. No, no way. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Our guys actually, uh, we had our mom's trip uh, in Vegas, so uh, there's a little That's bit of strategy funny. there too, I think. Uh, but we lost pretty, we, I think we lost 7-3 or 7-4, so I don't no know. More mom's, no. no more mom's <laughs> trips in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, we stayed uh, like 20 minutes outside of uh, the strip just to try to minimize some of those uh, distractions. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, yeah, business trip. Fans there, fans look sick. Music's loud, the fans are crazy, they're all, it's packed mm. in warm-up, and there's definitely, uh, you know, the entertainment's there. We were one of the first teams to go in there. Um, oh. So, um, you know, nobody knew what to expect going in there. But it, I was, I was taken away by it. It was, uh, you know, the atmosphere was amazing. The, mm. You know, I know after the game, the boys were, you know, talking about, you know, how cool it was to play in there. and because you know, we did had no clue what to expect, but it, it, it was an amazing atmosphere. Yeah, just the whole city seems to be getting behind it. I know they have people like at their practices even, and like we got stuff like DJs like yep. playing at their DJ practice, Joe Green. and <laughs> yep. yeah, yep. it's it's wild. They've obviously taken uh, taken it and putting their own spin on some things, and I think that's cool to kind of give yourself that identity and connect with uh, some of the fans. Do you guys feel that they had something to prove? Guys saying, hey you know what, you left me unprotected or you traded me or whatever the case may be. Jar Gallant getting fired in Carolina and taking a taxi. Yeah. Literally, and now he's one of the finalists for Jack Adams this year. Do you guys feel like they were playing collectively and individually with chips on their shoulders in a good way? Yeah, for sure. I think so. I think it's, it's human nature, you know. If you, you play against a, a team that you feel didn't want you anymore, you're going to try and go out there and prove. And I think every night they have a few guys in their lineups who are or in their lineup who are obviously playing against their old team. Um, but yeah, I just think, you know, guys guys like Flurry, Derek England, I play with them in Calgary, they're like true leaders and, and uh, they've really, that group's come together. You can see it, anyone can see how they're playing for each other. And um, in this game, I think that goes the longest way. Yeah, it just seems the confidence that they've been playing with for like, the whole year, it's just all the little plays all over the ice, the little 10-foot passes, the D, uh, their breakouts and stuff like that. They never seem to really rim the puck, so uh, they're definitely playing with a, a lot of that confidence and, and obviously peaking right now. As now as an NHL player, I've never really wanted another team to win the Stanley Cup as much as I I want Vegas to win. Just, you know, I don't know how well you guys know the, the dude, but he's a special, special dude. <laughs> he's a special yeah. dude, and, you know, just, you know, playing with them and seeing the you know, the, what he had to go through the last two years um, was, uh, was, was upsetting for me, you know, being a, f a friend of his and to see where he is today and, and uh, what he's doing right now. And mm. the dudes, they're superstars. He's, he's awesome. So I, I want to see, um, see them win.